What's good, my beautiful people? I hope all is well. Back with another video. Today's topic is just, I'm going to be sharing my testimony about how I've been dealing with um, my weed addiction, you know what I mean? And giving my life and my struggles to God. I feel that, you know, he has truly helped me because uh, a little bit of background, I was a smoker for like five, six years, like every day, multiple times a day. And I just kind of, um, I got tired of it. Um, not only did I just feel a conviction in my heart, it was just costing too much money. And I feel that, you know, God sees what we're doing. Of course, you know, we can't hide nothing from him. And it's just like, God's not going to bless you with much if you can't manage the stuff that he's giving you. So, you know, if he is blessing you with financial, you know, success, but you just using that money to go buy drugs or alcohol, like why would he keep giving you that so you can keep aiding that addiction? So I just kind of, um, I'm glad I was able to really see that for myself, you know, well, not for myself. God put that on my heart, but he called me to do it. And I'm glad that I, I listened. I'm glad I, he called me and I'm glad I picked up the phone. But yeah, if you're going through, you know, you're dealing with weed, you feel like you can't stop. I'm going to say this. A lot of people say, you know, do it in moderation, but nah, like why? That makes you lukewarm. If you're really trying to give your life to God, like you just got to cut it. And yeah, you're going to feel some impure, you know, you're going to feel like mm, anxious, you know, upset sometimes. And a lot of times in the past, you know, if you get upset, stressed out, you go smoke that weed, you go smoke that good gas and it kind of relaxes you, so to speak. But, you know, you're kind of getting dependent on, you're, you're being dependent on the weed, the marijuana, more so than being dependent on God and his word. So something that I did was, you know, I just got on my knees one day and I prayed to God, asking him just to take away my urges and take away my desires um, just from weed, you know. So all my, um, the weed equipment that I had, the little ashtray, I kept some of the lighters because, you know, I like candles and stuff at the crib, so it smelled nice. Um, the wraps, um, grinders, all that, you know, threw that away, vapes, threw that away. I was just like, no, nah, I want to really do it because I know the kind of person I am, and you got to be honest with the kind of person that you are, um, the kind of person I am, I I feel like I have a really, I'm not going to say obnoxious personality, but it's just like whenever I'm doing something, I'm all in. I'm not kind of, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one foot in, one foot out, but that's what I was trying to do with God. I was trying to do that with my walk with Christ, but you know, I'm changing, you know, and you can change too. We're not perfect. So you may have heard the quote, come as you are. So what that really means is, you know, if you're dirty, if you're smoking weed, smoking that good gas, you're drinking, whatever you're addicted to, come as you are, come to God, but he's not going to let you stay as you are. So just come as you are. You don't have to be perfect to come to him, but come as you are, but he's not going to make you stay as you are. He's going to convict your heart. So when he calls you, pick up the phone. When he calls, when God is calling your heart, pick up the phone because we don't know how much we're prolonging like life we believe that life is the things that we want to do the worldly things but you know we have to store up our treasures in heaven and that's what this that's just what i've been learning from the word and you can't be saved it's never too late no matter what you've been doing god loves you you know but just like a loving father he wants to discipline you like if you're doing something bad with your dad and he sees that he's going to discipline you and rectify you and put you in the right direction but if you keep doing the wrong thing, your relationship with your father may not be the best for your parent. So with our heavenly father, you know, listen to him. He knows like we we see service level. He, his, his perspective surpasses anything that our mind could fathom, truly. So if you're battling weed, this video is about weed and my, um, my journey with it. But if you're battling weed or any kind of addiction, give your, um, Give your issues to God. Talk to him. Cast all your burdens cast all your burdens on him. Don't lean on your own understanding. I'm gonna keep making videos, you know, as I go longer in my process. Um, and I hope hopefully somebody that's kinda on the edge about starting stop smoking or you know, they're they're kind of getting drawn in, drawn back out. Or hopefully this video can help you or you can gain some kind of insight from it. Peace and love.